people welcome to my channel I'm Arpita Karwa and in this video lecture I'm going to talk about sampling and different types of sampling used in research methodology but before we talk about what is a sample it's important to understand it with the help of example so there's a girl called Meera now this girl Meera she's extremely excited to research on how stress impacts examination in the life of college students in India. Now, if she wants to research on this topic, she needs to talk to each and every student of India who is in the college. Is it practically possible? I don't think so. So, this girl Meera has to choose a few students on which she is going to research and then on the basis of the research she is going to develop a finding she is going to draw a conclusion and this conclusion can be generalized on all the college students of India now entire college students of India they are known as population in research methodology but since we cannot research on the population, we take help of a sample. What is sample? Sample is a group of people chosen from the population on which the research is conducted and the results produced by the sample is generalized on the population. So this is known as sampling. Now there are various ways in which Mira can choose the sample. And now in the next section of this video, I'm going to talk about different types of sampling. So when it comes to sampling, there are basically two kinds of sampling. One is probability sampling and one is non-probability sampling. What is probability sampling? Let's first understand it. Probability sampling is when the researcher chooses sample randomly from the population. So in 10 standard, you must remember that there was a chapter called probability in probability chapter there was randomization there were a lot of questions asked on if a dice is thrown randomly what is the probability that one is going to appear so one by six is the probability so probability is very much connected to randomization randomly okay so probability sampling deals with choosing sample randomly from the population now there are different types of probability sampling we are going to look at them one by one the first kind of probability sampling is simple random sampling now what is simple random sampling the most easiest type of sampling agar mujhe jaipur ke sare schools ki research karni hai aur dekhna hai ki 10th standard ke students jo hai unka stress level kitna hai now being from Jaipur, I know that there are in total 55 schools. Now, it's not possible for me to go to each school and then collect the data from all the 55 schools. So what I do is that I decide to go by simple random sampling. In Sare schools, ke jo students hai, unki list mein leke aati hu. And then from that list, randomly I select a few students on which I'm be, I'll be conducting my research. That is simple random sampling. If you take an example from your life then lucky draw hum karte hai. that is a perfect example of simple random sampling aapne chits dal di and randomly aapne kuch logo ko choose kar liya. the second type of probability sampling is systematic random sampling now what is this in this i'm going to make a list of all the 10th class students from all the 55 schools and then i'm going to choose every nth person every nth student for example i choose every 10th student i made a list of all the students i listed all the students alphabetically uh, suppose there are 8000 students in jaipur who are in 10th standard now from that 8000 students i choose every 10th student 10th 20th 30th 40th aise karke maine kuch students ko select kar liya okay so maine ek alphabetical list banayi aur unme us list mein every nth term i selected 10th then 20th student 30th student 40th student so this is what is known as systematic random sampling the next kind of 
probability sampling is stratified random sampling. What is stratified random sampling? In this, I'm going to divide these 8,000 students in homogeneous groups. So I'm going to make, suppose, 80 groups out of these 8,000 students. And from each group, I'm randomly going to select a few students. And on those students, I'm going to conduct my research. This is stratified random sampling. Then next, we have cluster sampling. Cluster sampling means you choose a naturally existing cl cluster and then you do your research. So rather than choosing students from 55 schools, I randomly chose five schools and I started doing research on these five schools and then I'm going to generalize it on all the schools of Jaipur. And fifth is multi-stage random sampling. Multi-stage sampling is when I randomly choose clusters and from those clusters, I randomly choose students. So, I have four schools liye randomly and in schools, I randomly randomly students. Pick kare. This is multi-stage. It is involving two stages. First, I am doing cluster and then cluster, I am again doing sampling. I am choosing a few students from that school also. That is why it is known as multi-stage sampling so now we move on to the second type of sampling which is non-probability sampling till now we've discussed different types of probability sampling now it's time to look at what is non-probability sampling and looking at different types of non-probability sampling so non-probability sampling from the word itself you can understand it is when you choose a sample deliberately and not randomly aap randomly choose nahi kar rahe ho aap apni knowledge and experience ke basis pe deliberately aap kai logo ko apni research mein le rahe ho that is non probability sampling there are three main types of non probability sampling first is quota sampling now quota we all know in civics we must have heard this term quota is a percentage which is re reserved for a particular section of society. For example, 51% female quota. That means 51% seats are reserved for females. So demographically, the quotas you are sampling ke groups, ko le rahe ho, that is called quota sampling. For example, if 51% females are there in India, then you are going to take 51 females in your research. So, you have to take ratio of females ka jitni females. Hai. So, rather than randomly choosing males and females for a research, you are deliberately choosing 51 females and 49 males. This is quota sampling. The next is judgmental sampling. What is judgmental sampling? It's evident from the term itself when you are becoming judgmental. When you are using your knowledge, your past experience to select the sample, that is judgmental sampling. So, if I think that in my research, some people are apt for that research, for participate I am deliberately going to choose them. For example, if I am researching on uh, the effect anger has on my health, I am deliberately going to choose certain people I know who become angry in their day-to-day -day life very easily. So this is judgmental sampling. And the third type of non-probability sampling is convenience sampling. Convenience, that means I choose sample which is readily available. Jo mujhe conveniently available hai, un logo pe research kar leti hu, rather than going out and choosing uh, people from different different places from different different backgrounds so conveniently jo log mujhe mil rahe hai, i can choose them and i can do my research this is convenient sampling okay so these are the three main types of non probability sampling that you must remember if you are preparing for ugc net paper 1 before i end this video i would also like to talk about what is sampling error now let's first understand sampling error sampling error basically means that the result that you have uh, taken out by researching on a sample differs from the result of the population. That means that आपने जो research करी है sample के ऊपर, उससे जो result निकल के आया है, वो result 
पॉप्यूलेशन के केस में ट्रू होल्ड नहीं करता आई गिव यू अ वेरी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू रिसर्च ऑन हु इज मोर हैप्पी पीपल हु आर इन जॉब और पीपल हु आर डूइंग देयर ओन बिजनेस I take a sample of 200 people 100 of them are in job and 100 of them are doing their own business when i research on these 200 people i analyze their happiness level i figure out that people who are in jobs are more happy now this is a result which i have taken out from my sample when i use it on the population i might find that it differs दुनिया में जनरली अगर आप देखेंगे तो आप ये पाएंगे कि जो लोग बिजनेस में हैं दे आर मोर हैप्पी देन पीपल हु आर इन जॉब नाउ देर इज अ डिफरेंस इन व्हाट माय रिजल्ट शोज व्हेन इट कम्स टू सैंपल एंड व्हाट एक्चुअली इट इज व्हेन इट कम्स टू पॉपुलेशन दिस इज नोन एज सैंपलिंग एरर और ये कब होता है सैंपलिंग एरर इज मैक्सिमम वेन यू टेक अ स्मॉल सैंपल साइज आपने 20 लोगों पे ही रिसर्च करी तो हो सकता है आपकी फाइंडिंग्स इनकरेक्ट हो बिकॉज देर इज अ चांस दैट वो लोग हो सकता है जॉब कर रहे हो बट दे आर मोर हैप्पी मे बी इफ यू टेक 200 हंड्रेड पीपल हु आर इन जॉब यू माइट फाइंड आउट दैट नो मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल हु आर इन जॉब दे आर अनहैप्पी नाउ जितना छोटा सैंपल साइज होगा उतना ज्यादा ये एरर होने के चांसेस हैं सो सैंपलिंग एरर डिक्रीजेज विथ द सैंपल साइज सो अगर सैंपल साइज आपने कम लिया है तो सैंपलिंग एरर ज्यादा होगा एंड अगर आपने सैंपल साइज बढ़ा लिया है तो सैंपलिंग एरर कम होगा सो दे आर नॉट डिरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल बट दे आर इनडिरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल सो नाउ दैट वी हैव लुक्ड एट सैंपलिंग मेन टाइप्स ऑफ सैंपलिंग एंड वॉट इज सैंपलिंग एरर इट्स टाइम टू लुक एट previous year papers and figure out if there are questions which are asked from this particular section there were a lot of students who kept on asking me that ma'am please tell us some previous year questions uh, with the topic you are covering so that we can have a glimpse on what kind of questions we can expect uh, in the paper so this is what kind of questions you can expect from the section that is sampling and types of sampling So that's it for this video lecture we are going to meet very soon in the next video lecture also if you've not subscribed to this channel do it now because i post videos every saturday to help ugc net aspirants in their exam preparation apart from that if you have any suggestion any doubts you can put that in the comment section below you can also follow me on various social media platforms and you can also share this videos with your friends so that they also get benefited with these video lectures so that's it for this video lecture we'll meet soon in the next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwar.com